Hey guys, Happy New Year's. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. Just showing you one of my finds from Kwanzaa. Guys, I've been thinking about things like progress and what price progress and <clears throat> does it really serve to help everyone? I've been looking at videos about the updates in the Gambia and seeing what's going on with the, quote, clearing program to clear the roads and get rid of illegal businesses and stuff like that. And what's similar there to what happened everywhere, <clears throat> including Galveston, as it doesn't show the human suffering and how it affects the poorest of the poor, as well as humanizing people. It makes you think that people are non-compliant Y'all use the word like non-compliant. Like what? What does that mean, y'all? What does that mean? Does it mean that I'd rather starve because I live from day to day and the average money that I get every day is one to two dollars and fifteen cents? And if I'm lucky doing a very high skill job, maybe 10 bucks. That's some of the research that I did this morning on what's happening worldwide, not just to pick on a specific place like the Gambia, but in general, the majority of the world makes less than $10 a day. And as we glamorize people surviving on such little, we never had to really walk in their shoes. We never had to really feel empathy for them. And lots of people like to, quote, donate to special causes. And the special causes, the majority of the money is used for marketing and job positions. And they keep it running. Big, big ticket items, you know, like transporting the people from their home country to their country where they're doing the, quote, charity work, whether it's feeding people or paying tuition for children and having a feeding program there. Do we just ignore the whole rest of the family because they have no social services there? When they was doing quite fine, oh, as they say, before gentrification. Yeah, that's one of those words, y'all, the G words. Gentrification happened. That when people come from one place and move to another and change how the place looks to attract people that have more money so they can pay for the overhead. It displaces the people that's already there. They can no longer afford to live there, even if it's just raising the taxes, like in the Gullah Geechee Nation, just to name one of many. People are getting displaced worldwide, y'all because of property values going up and new laws coming about that tell you what colors to paint your house and what you can and cannot do on your land, even if it's just collecting rainwater. Inflation is going up, y'all. But for poor people, 
some of them have no social services, y'all. And in some places, they have social services, but they're limited and sometimes complicated to even fill the paperwork because some people are not aware enough to even fill out the paperwork properly to get the help that they need. And the people that used to help them do not exist because they're replaced by AI or customer service online that only have a certain amount of time to help you with your problem. And you may have to wait online for a long time. And even if you tell them to call you back, you may not get a call back. I was so frustrated just with trying to get a hold of different organizations, customer service, y'all. And then sometime when I get to customer service, they couldn't understand me. I couldn't understand them because they were in another country than in the U.S. So they didn't understand my Southern English. And I sure didn't understand their English that well. So it was a struggle, y'all, just to get customer service when I used to could just go somewhere in Galveston, pretty much, and get customer service eye to eye. I miss those days, y'all. As they say, nostalgia. It's just business. They never think about the people because it's all about profit. And what happens to the profit? It just goes so the people at the top get paid more money while they eliminate the salaries at the bottom. Whether they give the jobs to machines, be it robotic or computer nowadays with just a few people on the line working like machines to try to get things done so quickly. But y'all, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just talking about what's going on today. I want to know what y'all think about it because it hurts my heart <clears throat> when I see people discounting people's feelings of being hurt when they don't know what else to do, that they may be on the verge of feeling like revolting because they don't know what else to do. If they don't have family abroad to give them some support, to actually send them some funds until they can find a place and get set up in business again and get their customers to go to them again. And then for their customer to stay loyal to them when the cost of business is incorporated in the price that their customer won't say. They charge me more because they greedy. They just doing it because I'm a foreigner. They charging me whoever prices without having any regard for the poor people's cost of doing business. If they have to pay rents that's made for foreign people to think that, oh, this is really cheap rent, <laughs> when it may be something that's so unattainable to the average person that their family abroad is subsidizing them until better days come. And sometimes that's within two to five years of being open, y'all. Because the government subsidies lots of times happen for big businesses, y'all, not small ones. I know what I'm talking about even just doing my NGO. You think people will help you slowly by slowly, but 
They don't do that. They just say it's nice and they keep it moving. But y'all, the people that's the small businesses, the small NGOs, the small people at the bottom, the vendors that need pop-up shops that we are so used to in the U.S. and other places in the world. They have to have these pop-up shops and places that don't charge them an arm and a leg so they can still have nice prices, but never again the bargains that uh, their old customers was used to. Customer loyalty, according to what I've been researching, is not loyal at all. <laughs> For a couple of the lassie, they'll go to the big stores, even though the merchandise may not be as good a quality as the person that was selling it to them in the first place. Cheap knockoffs. But all they thinking about is it's cheap. <laughs> and they never think that if they don't keep going to this local business that it will close. And they'll go there one day and say, oh, I was going to get something. But it's too late because it's already closed. All I can say right now is I'm encouraging you to pick up a small business, whether it be an NGO like Habasio, you're welcome to donate to us. I'll put a link for our GoFundMe down below. Or research any other grassroots organization out there and give them your support. Try to make a regular donation whether it be $1 a month, $5 a month, $100 a month, only you can decide what's your limit. But be a loyal supporter because they need you. We need you. We all work together, y'all. We are one. And when we don't support one another, we cease to exist. And then whose fault will that be? The stuff I saw online, it was downtowns were there at first, mom and pop businesses, you know. And then from mom and pop businesses, the malls came and ran the mom and pop businesses out of business are the big superstores because they had imports there at cheaper prices, whether it was better quality or not. And they always had sales like Kmart used to have the blue light special. My mom and them was like addicted to those blue light specials. They be buying so much stuff whether they needed it or not. Most times they didn't even need it. But the light was going, y'all, so they had to get something. So they did. And now what happened? There's no more Kmart in Galveston. And it'd be replaced by Walmart. They got rid of the wetlands. Made many people angry because the wetlands help us with... Uh, flooding, doing hurricane. So the less wetlands you have, you're more subject to have more flooding during a hurricane, y'all. So wetlands are important for many reasons. And to get rid of them for a, a big giant building, it's sad, y'all. Went from having a downtown to no downtown having a strand to not having a strand. And the only reason now we have a strand is because a millionaire 
George Mitchell, came here. He was a, a island guy, made it rich somewhere else, came back and reinvested into Galveston and helped build up that area. And so now, the Strand is a good place for tourists to go shopping for different things. And we have other outlets to make money, like uh, cruise ships and stuff. But not everybody have all those avenues that wasn't done in a day. And so lots of money being invested every year just to have people visit Galveston. You wouldn't believe on how much is invested in that campaign to visit Galveston. It's a whole industry of tourism. But the main thing in tourism, y'all, is the people. The people. So we have to not disappear our poor because of progress. We have to find alternative ways to help them rise as things change instead of being under the rubble and forgetting about them because it wasn't you or your family. Just saying progress, progress, progress three times is not going to feed anybody or send anybody to school. So anyway, y'all, I'm just saying, what will you do to make the world a better place? I'm praying for people to find it in their hearts to help become the change they want to see in the world in 2024, y'all. Help become that change you want to see. It only takes just a little show. That's it. A little show that you care. And when you donate to whomever, y'all, donate and then share it. They'll have a little share button and share it with your family and your friends so they can have that, what, opportunity to give as well. It is so good to be able to give than to receive. We are blessed to be a blessing to others, y'all. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? If you blessed, y'all, show some sign. Donate, donate, donate today. Donate often. It doesn't matter how much you donate, long as you are consistent with it. Always share. Even if it's just a simple, subscribe, like, comment, and share. It helps. It does. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Peace. Power to the people. And I'm out, y'all.